Hello, welcome back to the TV1 Training Academy studio. Uh, this video is part of a masterclass series for ChoreoView. Um, have a look at the full set and it will give you a great handle on how to use uh, this amazing new multi-window viewing solution. In this video, we're going to be looking at Choreographer. In particular, we're going to be looking at settings for ChoreoView. You'll notice ChoreoView shown up in my list here. Um, if I had more devices, they'd all show up in the list, as would Choreo Masters. This new Choreographer software can control both Choreo Masters and Choreo Views. We've got a full masterclass series for Choreo Master, so look at those up on uh, our YouTube site as well. I'm going to log in to this unit. The password is admin pw. Re always recommend thinking about changing that. And I'm just going to read the settings down from the unit. What this does is it interrogates the unit, finds out what every input and output card is receiving as a source. Uh, it sets up uh, and the setting it's in at, at the moment as well. So you go, that's up and running. You can see it knows that I've got six sources. We're set in preset six at the moment. So that, that's pretty good stuff. This is called the dashboard view. The first thing I will show you is the settings view. And we'll show you dashboard in a future video, of course. So into settings, there's loads of good stuff here. So first of all, I can give the device a name. So this is going to live in the training academy. And anyone then who's on my network who sees this unit knows uh, where it is, so that's fine. Preset easing is uh, eases in window movement from the beginning to end. If you turn that off, it's completely linear. Um, easing effectively smooths the transition. I can reset a unit to defaults. Here's the networking setup. This is a repeat of what you saw in Cora Discover. Obviously, Cora Discover has got added benefits and clean ability to see the firmware uh, version, and also um, you can see what else is on your network as well. This is the module configuration. So you'll notice uh, that I've now got six sources playing. In the, the original videos, when we did the unboxing and the first use, they weren't playing. I set those up through um, this interface here, um, and just set them playing. Now we've got loads of videos uh, about this control module. Have a look um, at the Choreo Master videos. We've got a huge set of master classes for those that tell you all about that. We call that the AVIP card. You also notice here I've got my quad input card for my HDMI, my 4K out and my control module. The eagle eyed amongst you will notice we've got the SPDIF audio out at the top here uh, as well. I've got no playlists at the minute, but I can have uh, a number of playlists. Uh, a playlist is uh, for the AVIP card. At the moment I'm playing single clips, but I could play clips, stills and IP feeds uh, as well. So if I was taking a stream from my Magenta Encoder 100 or another IP encoder or IP camera. This is how I set up IP streams. The advantage of using the Magenta Encoder 100 is it would automatically show up here if it was on the same network range. Choreographer, I can set log messaging. So it, this is relates to the bottom here, to the console. And the console is a complete list of everything that's happened in this unit. So you can see from the start, it's got the login details. It's got the reading of all the resolutions and all the window placements uh, down here. And this is really handy if you're having an issue maybe with your control system, you're trying to work out if it's getting the right command and you can extend the length of that. At the moment it's set to 10,000 and I can also save this to a file as well. All, all handy information. System tells me some other useful information if you're talking to our customer service associates uh, into telling what the unit is, the firmware, the serial number, all that good stuff. The next one is slot status. I could rename the sources here. I'm going to show you how to do it in the dashboard area. But you can see here all my modules. Um, the AVIP, the media 4K in, is actually playing two 1080p uh, feeds at the moment. One of those could be a 4K stream. Then coming down, you see I've got some 5994, some 60, and then down the bottom of 720p 50. So I've handled all of that uh, really really easily uh, behind me. But down to system constraints, tells me how many windows I can have. I can have a max of eight windows. I've only got six inputs. That's why I've got a max of six uh, inputs here. Uh, you notice I've got a single output and that, that's a, a key feature throughout the core view range. Uh, it's always a, a single output and then 50 presets. At the moment uh, on this initial release, we've got the, the number that you saw in the interface. Uh, we can't create new ones, but in future we'll be able to create additional layouts and presets. And lastly, down the bottom, this is front panel settings. 
So um, you'll notice that on the uh, panel on the bottom, the one and two button, if I hold those down together, it's a panel lock. Uh, at the moment, I've got that disabled. Last thing to look at, which is probably the most important thing to set up, is uh, your users. So this is the user page where I can uh, set up my users. I'm, what I'm going to do that on my admin account, which I'm logged in at the moment, I'm going to turn off the log off. Because what I don't want is if I'm away for a couple of minutes or don't touch the PC, I don't want the PC to log out, but I definitely want that for the other users. So that's it for settings. In the next video, we're going to be looking at uh, dashboard and how we control some of the items in there. But for now, from the TV1 Training Academy Studio, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye now.